What's going on, everybody? Dan Unfiltered. Check it out. Billy Eilish. James Bond theme. No time to die. I'm ver this one's stepping loud as hell. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. Very, very excited. I love James Bond. Love movies. And James Bond's themes are always iconic. Even the bad ones. But this, when they announced Billy Eilish was doing this theme... I knew it was going to be good. Just knew it. It has to be good. She fits perfectly for a James Bond theme song. She really does. Haunting. Mysterious. Yet sounds classy. Oh, that's... That's James Bond all day. Now, I'm not... Can it live up to Skyfall? Adele's was perfect. The best Bond theme ever. Probably not. Skyfall was amazing. Like, it's a 10 out of 10 song, even not being a James Bond theme. But then it was, and it was fucking awesome. And the movie was great. Daniel Craig, you get your big British ass back on that screen, and you continue making James Bond movies. You stay James Bond. What else you got going on? Keep saying he's done. You're not done till I tell you you're fucking done. Calm down. It's about Billie Eilish and No Time to Die. We'll talk about Daniel Craig on the movie channel down below shameless plug and there's a live version someone told me to check out the live version I apologize I do not remember the name of the person who told me but in one of the comment sections I read it I'm definitely checking it out because I've heard Billy Eilish sing live one time one or two one or two times before and it was phenomenal so let's see if she can keep it going I love live performances and it's in London their crowds are always the best let's do this I'm amped. Butterflies already. Is that Phineas? That's my boy! Ha <laughs> ha!
She's about to bring it home. Yep, now we got to debate. It's this or Skyfall. Best Bond theme ever. And it's close. I did not expect to say that at all. Wow. That was magical. And I'm not sure who wrote... I know she. Uh, people have told me she and her brother write most of her song's lyrics. If not all. But being a James Bond movie theme... And the people who own the rights to James Bond are very tight. They have a stranglehold over just about everything to do with it. I'm not sure if she wrote the lyrics to this or not. Either way. I mean, if she did, good lord, it fit the movie perfectly. The movie hasn't even come out yet, but just from the trailer, you know. Betrayal? You never believe me anyway. You're never on my side. It, it, it fits perfect. So whoever wrote the lyrics, their lyrics are... Perfect. Her voice is immaculate. And the music had every James Bond theme cliche, if you will, if you will, in it. The, that strum of the guitar that is just it's just only James Bond songs have that sound in it. A little piano violin he, That was so good. That was so good. I'm listening to it again. I don't care. I'm listening to it again. If you are still here, feel free to hit the X button, but also hit the like button as well. If you're new, please subscribe. And I'm going to check this out one more time. Feel free to watch if you like. Man, that, that was phenomenal. I'm not going to have the video on. I'm just going to... We're not on the over here anymore. Let's go focus on the music. The keys, just the intro. And I'm gonna... I wanna be able to talk more on this one. <laughs> That she has a sound. You were my life, but life is far away from fear. Was I stupid? She's too perfect for this. Too perfect. And I knew it the moment they said it.
That's the guitar I'm talking about. That sound. It's just James Bond. It's the James Bond swoop that happens in every song. It's just, he's perfect for it. It's the tone change. well of the orchestra bring it home Wow. Just wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. It's it's this or Skyfall. All the other ones are, it's like, these are one and two in whatever order you want to put them in. And then it's everything else. There's no other debate. I, I don't care about the ones from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Even the two, none are even close. These two are Perfect. Like when they announced Adele was doing Skyfall, I knew it'd be great. But then when I heard it, it was way better than great. The same happened here. I knew Billy Irish would knock it out of the park, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. That's perfect. This movie better be good. Don't. Because now it's like the movie got to stand up to this theme. Don't let the theme be the best fucking part of the movie. Luckily, Skyfall was a good movie, but we've had. Could be the themes in the past that were better than the movies, and that's always a damn shame. Billie Eilish. I think she's becoming one of those people to where I almost only want to watch, listen to her songs live. Chris Cornell is kind of like that, where it's like the 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 album version is is cool, it's good obviously, but. There's a certain majesty, a certain like vulnerable beauty to a live song. It's like at any moment they could fuck up, miss a note. And some people just never do. And sometimes it brings a more genuine vibe. It kind of makes you just want to cry. Billy's got that. Adele has that. Chris Cornell had that. Um, surprisingly, Kurt Cobain had that. I said surprisingly because his voice was raspy and kind of not... Like these, they these are like beautiful voices. Chris Corn, uh, Chris Cornell and Kurt Cobain kind of had a, a rough voice, but damn, live it really hits you in the heart. Billy Eilish, man, I gotta listen to more live Billy. If you are still here after the second rewatch, I appreciate it, and you are a real one. <laughs>